So the next one we're going to take a sneaky at is this one here, this Magnum GTV on a 20 plate and it's up for 52,999, so just shy of 53 grand on an Eldis. Got a 2.3140 horsepower engine in it, and we're just gonna have a look up through the side of it. So there's the, uh, the toilet, we just missed the uh, toilet cassette box. Um, there's all the uh, plug-ons, and uh, what have we got on here? Oh, that's for the um, electric um, whale water pump. Nice big access on this uh, van with a Thule step. It's very, very robust. It's, uh, so it gives you a nice little uh, step up into the van there. And uh, outside gas attachment in there, which um, for a little van conversion, yeah, got the big sliding door. So this uh, get in and have a little uh, sneaky peek. Six meters, one owner from new. Let me just double check the mileage on this, which is just over 6,000 miles. And we are running a Fiat Ducato uh, on a manual gearbox. And we're just going to uh, have a look at these seats. Got some nice seats, Magnum embossed in the seats and uh, let's get in this position oh they're quite comfortable as well i've just sat in the passenger side seat looking back up through this little van conversion at just under six meters and it feels quite nice it's just a, i've just actually waited for an older couple just to get out of it and they've been having a, a right look through it and obviously it, this kind of size van makes it very attractive because of the length you can still get in that supermarket you can still easily get into places without too much aggravation um Let's have a look at this Thetford fridge. So we've got a nice Thetford fridge with a little freezer box up the top there. We've got some nice little uh, little boxes in the bottom of the fridge. Look, Let's put your bits and bobs in, bits of salad. And uh, what is in the bottom of here? Some nice little shelves. And these are quite nice little bins on the side here as well. You can see the blown outlet for the blown heat in. And um, yeah, nice little shit. You know, I'd be straight in there with some nice little storage boxes. Look, like, absolutely uh, perfect. Nice little uh, storage locations there. Right, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm on my knees now, <laughs> so we're, we're coming into the end here. So by the door, it's got this nice little selection of drawers going right down through. They're deep. Get a lot of stuff in there. That is quite handy. You know, at the end of the day, you get yourself a nice little cook set and tuck it away in there and uh, that is there's four drawers there that are very very nice uh, like for storage so we're just coming into this uh, little box here what have we got in there we've got a little bot loader in around the corner um, it's quite nice let's just have a look at this store a nice big drawer that's a definitely a pan drawer there that's a frying pan a few tea fowls in there and another little oh that's just a, a little uh, inspection we could uh, squeeze a bottle of wine in, but uh, that's okay, that's cool. And then we got the uh, Thetford oven. Um, you all right, mate? Then, what's going on on the top? So we've got the sink with a little infill up on the top there, look. And uh, we've got the two burner with an electric uh, piece on that. Just observing a little bit of an extension on the work surface there. Um, so yeah, obviously, me I, and yeah you can work you can you can use that as a chopping board can't you you know you can you can use it get one of your get one of them rubber mats we always get a rubber mat on this glass don't break the glass but uh, get a rubber mat on that glass and uh, get one of them drainers that we've just been previously looking at in one of our videos a nice little drainer on there you can do the washing up put the draining little rubber mat on there gives it that little protection as well above we have a microwave oven and uh, let's just have a look in that little locker there as well Oh, little, pl nice little plates. How many plates do you need? Do you know what I mean? You need a couple of, you need a couple of dinner plates, a couple of smaller plates, four, pl four plates tucked away in there with maybe a little chopping board as well. I'm going to just come and sit in the, uh, the lounge area and just chill out. There's a TV bracket up there. Nice lighting, ample lighting, beautiful lighting. There's uh, mood lighting up around the, you can change the mood of it. Beautiful uh, hatch up here. We've got a hatch midway up through on the roof as well. 
We've always said about van, what have we always said about van conversions? When you open the back doors on this, where it be on the Adriatic Auto Camp, looking out on the ocean, um, you can open them doors up and get panoramics out the back. And uh, how, how good would that be? Open these doors up. Uh, good, and there's beautiful windows in the side as well. These windows, either side, both exactly the same. Nice storage up on the top, little cupboards, row of cupboards up on the top here. And uh, there's a lot of people waiting to come in this van, actually. I need to get out in a minute. There's a lot of people that, uh, um, yeah, giving it, the, giving it the sale, I think. So, uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to last long, this one. But it's just nice to have a little look around it. And I, I like it. I think it's uh, a well-laid-out little van. Like I say, it's that length is the, uh, the golden key to this van. And uh, you have got that um, toilet with legroom. Again, the legroom. You have got this nice, deep wash bowl. I'm kind of getting into them a little bit um i it's i like it a little bit re robust um a little bit of mark on there but that will come off but um nice uh tap up there that looks quite quite neat so just looking around you got your little uh glass there you got a little uh couple of cupboards up the top with a mirror um got the shower there's no shower hose in here at the moment there's a there's a little track around the top of here so obviously that will be where the shower curtain will go and um again ventilation roof hatch in the top uh toilet roll holder and what do you what more do you need in a little van conversion this size absolutely you know right well that's that one then i we just a couple of ladies just came in and uh, we're just like talking about what is in this motor or in, in this van conversion and basically you know we're just saying how you know you you sort of like minimize yourself down and get some nice um um cookware and some nice bits and pieces to put in this van and minimize down and you've got a perfect little travel van i must say absolutely uh love it real nice little um laid out van right next